Um, but I believe that employee engagement is the turnkey, is the real turnkey to improving business performance, to identifying um, the needs in the business and to developing the customer experience. And ultimately, that's what we're there to do if we can develop that happy. Um, and there are four key elements to that as far as I can see. Um, Paul um, has kindly touched on one of them already, which is that strategic vision. And I don't just mean having, um, as I said, the, the the statement up behind reception or on the bottom of your emails or whatever it is. I mean, turning that into a into a living, breathing thing. You know, what is that strategic vision? How do you communicate it to uh, your your people within the business? And how do they turn that into something that means something to them in their particular role? That it's got to be a it's got to be a pulsating thing throughout the business, not just a, a cold statement. Um, so I think that's that's the first thing to consider in terms of improving employee engagement. The second thing is, if you have leaders within your business or if you are the only leader in your business, is then kind of turning the camera back on yourself and, and, and thinking, how engaging am I or how engaging are them, are those leaders within my business with the team? How often are they walking the walk? How often are they talking about the values within the business? How often are they role modelling them? Um, is there a sense of, um, uh, is there a, um, are they being are they being valued on performance and output or just visibility in the office? You, you know, where, where's the balance there? How engaging are the leadership team or yourself as a, as a sole leader? Um, and then thirdly is how do you listen to your employee voice? Now, when I first started in retail 300 years ago, you know, there was a, there was a box in in the staff room where you used to put your suggestions. Um, they were interesting from time to time, but essentially, you, you know, setting up a process which is which is regular, which has consistency and therefore develops trust amongst your team is critically important. And there's two things around developing that trust is, first of all, make sure it is consistent that you do it regularly. But secondly, um, do what you say you're going to do. And, and that's the fourth thing. Take some action as a, as a result of, of that employee voice. Listen to what they're saying and think about how you can align that to the success of your business. So that business integrity is the, is the fourth part of employee engagement. That kind of you said we did um, and, and create that that bond of trust with uh, with the team. It doesn't matter how many people you have in your team, you know, whether it's two or or, as I said, hundreds it really doesn't matter but those are the four things that for me are really important in terms of the whole aspect of employee engagement is it's ensuring that the strategic vision is strong and communicated um, and lived ensuring that your leader team are competent and capable of engaging the team around that listening closely to the em employee voice and then doing something with it so that's uh, yeah that's where i am with that